When Yellowstone was set up, the concept of national parks wasn't even known. It was one of the great ideas that America really had to contribute to the world. It was this notion that there were places on the planet that meant something because of their beauty and their grandeur and their enduring spirit. In its early days, the park lost its iconic wolves through extermination. But recently, wolves were brought back. They opened the gates and wolf number 10 was the first one to run free in Yellowstone for 70 years and I can feel the lump in my throat saying that again. <laughs> Most of us really couldn't believe that we were going to put walls back. And everyone held their breaths because no one knew how this was going to work. What happened was the wolves did great. They started handling themselves on their own, they were hunting new things, but the whole park started changing too. Before the wolves came back, there would be huge herds of elk, so the whole park became overgrazed. When wolves were introduced into Yellowstone, the elk can't just go to their favorite spot and graze. They kind of have to be moving. And because the elk are constantly moving in the landscape, the land has a chance to recover. When the wolves helped to control the elk populations, we began to see cottonwoods and aspens, poplars coming in, particularly along the rivers. The returning trees stabilized the riverbanks, slowing and cleaning the water. The wolves had changed the landscape, creating space for other animals. Beavers came back, and they came back on their own. And that was kind of a really unexpected thing, because beavers had almost completely disappeared from Yellowstone. 